extremely cordial, but nice. We wanted to calm him down, you know? Yeah. Anyway, um, next match, obviously, Zer versus Marcus. And uh, Zer, are you online? Are you are you in the chat? I think you are. Yes, you are. Okay, cool. Um, Zer, are you ready? And Marcus, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, Zer, okay, cool. Okay, so what about map? What map do you guys want to play? I don't care that much, but I don't want to play on Winter's Gate. Okay, no Winter's Gate. Zer, what about you? Let's wait for him to reply. You don't know about you. What the fuck? Why? why, why, uh, why is, is Apple Killer ready? watching? He's ready, and anything do you want to play pool? anything from the pool? Okay, uh. <laughs> Okay, um, Acropolis. No, 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 no. Thunderbird, uh... We're gonna choose between Thunderbird or... What haven't we seen? Triton, okay. Thunderbird or Triton? Triton. Yeah, so between those two. Remember, uh, remember uh, Gameheart? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, I almost forgot that. So anyway, anyway, both of you, guys, heads or tails? Uh, wait a minute. Zer is writing something. I'll say head for Triton. He, he's fine with Triton. Uh, okay, it was heads anyway. Cool. We're going Triton. God, I lo some I love and hate winter maps because it just blinds my eyes. It's like it's like you walk into like it's like you walk into a church, <laughs> and then like it's too holy. <laughs> yeah, no, like, I used to have. Uh... <laughs> So that the Lord's light shine upon you today. <laughs> okay, I used to have, have some problem with Triton. Yeah. I used to have some problem with Triton uh, because the uh, the triangle third would trap the mules behind the mineral line. Oh. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, that's that's true. Uh, well, I, I'm I'm glad that I'm glad that the Blizzard finally fixed that issue. Yeah. Terrans around the world can finally cry in happiness knowing that the mules will never get trapped again. Mm. Um, Lord Cranial and Captain Awu, is it okay if you two cast this game? I need to go to the toilet. Um, yeah, sure. Okay, just yes, yeah. yes. Uh, the players. I will actually give Haha a party lead from now on. And sure. obviously, I'll put them, I'll set the players. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Was it Captain Ben? No, it's. Marcus versus shit versus versus Zer. Oh Zer. Oh yeah. Okay. Let me invite. Okay, you. I'm going to leave the voice now. Okay, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, I'm gonna temporarily leave. You guys cast the game and the stream and have fun, man. I'm gonna just leave. All right. All right. Uh, okay. So are the competitors ready? Well, they better be because the game's starting. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I all tap to look at the chat, so. All right, it's going to be another ZVP, uh, ZVP between Marcus and Zers. All right, do you want to start with uh, start introducing the players? Yeah, sure. So, in the bottom right, from Clan H God, it is Zers, also known as Luzach. All right, and, oh, and spawning in the top left corner, we have Marcus. Very uh, gentle Marcus, who would not, who wouldn't mind playing a not very gentle game. <laughs> he's just gonna gently uh just gonna gently macro up he's not gonna play a very aggressive game just gonna kind of do his thing he's gonna he's gonna play sim city that's what he's gonna do he's gonna get up he's gonna get his money up he's just gonna macro up and then suddenly come in with a 200 200 death ball well uh let's hope that that is going to be the game plan All right, so pylon in the wall for Zer. I don't know how I feel about that. If if uh, Marcus were to try and bane bust, like it would 
very quickly, <clears throat> very quickly in this game. Yeah. Uh, see, I'm not, I'm not a Protoss player, so I don't know the intricacy of pylon placing. Uh, I think this, uh, I think a pylon uh, in the wall would allow you to send the pro uh, the probes to the enemy base a lot quicker. Like yeah. a few seconds. So far, uh, both sides seems to have a very standard opening. The uh, hatch first for the Zerg player and the one gate expand for the Protoss. Okay guys, I'm back. Uh, so what, what happened when I was gone? What the fuck is this wall? <laughs> I, <laughs> <laughs> Two pylons yeah. in the wall. The, the, the main oh, thing boy. with pylons in the wall is the fact that pylons has just 200-200 versus gate or cybercore hang 500-500, which means not only you can kill them faster, I think four banes or something like that, I'm not sure, but you can like kill them faster with just links, like really fast. Yeah, usually, usually you don't want oh well, this wall or. Well, it had two openings. Never mind. It only has one opening now that he put down the yeah. second um, gateway. This is a very early third pylon. I don't really understand it. it it's yeah. not. The thing is, one, first it's pylon should like be the in the wall, and second pylon should be somewhere in the main. Oh no, you, you can make you can make this wall without the um, pylon being in. Yeah, the, I, I mean, think he's just confused by the map because he has. Yeah. Yeah. And now, yeah. Now the links um, will go there. Um, 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 yeah, keep the zealot there. Calm down. <laughs> no, don't chase. Don't chase. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hey. And there you go. Two links. Oof. Okay, the two links the go. Not going to do anything. The scouts are not. Not ideal. Yeah. Right now, though. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I'm surprised Zer held that off. Play Zer in the base. Yeah. Yeah. Now, how this is what I don't like about uh, about Marcus is that he's too focusing. Uh, he's too focused on microing the Zergling inside the base. It's but he banked up three thousand. So um, yeah. uh, he banked up a thousand. He didn't expand. The now thing he built is, four overlords. The thing about Marcus is that we play with with each other a lot, and I mean, all he knows is just oh, let's sneak up these Zerglings in if. It's in, it's win. If if it's not in, well, I don't know. I have never actually played beyond sneaking Zerglings in. What do I do after the five minute mark? Basically. Uh, oh, uh, well, I know. I will do double expand, make fuck ton of roaches, and just may move because that's what you do as a Zerg. You don't have to, you don't need a plan. You can just I mean, I feel max like... units. Yeah, I feel like A moving isn't mutually exclusive to Zerg. I feel like it's like uh, I'm pretty sure a, uh, every single composition have an A move. Uh, every single race have an A move composition. Like yeah, yeah, yeah you can A move Marines. You can you have the Death Ball. But the thing Honestly... with the the difference between let's say Terran, Protoss, and Zerg is the fact that as a Zerg you can just Q, fuck ton of roaches, A move as a Protoss, you still have to make the tech and somewhat time it and have enough gas and shit. As a as a Terran, you still have to again manage to get even the medivacs and get the production and get over the the bad feeling of uh, having uh, second or third base. Yeah, yeah. The first work was coming out. It's been spotted by a bunch of links. I like the overload spread throughout the map. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. very good. Cool. He's definitely going to spot this coming in. Yeah, that's a But huge... well, he got the appropriate response. Well, there's two queens in the wing and a uh, spell crawler is coming up. Yeah, Gentle Marcus. Yeah, he shouldn't playing. do much damage. Is Gentle Marcus playing like a diamond player? Oh, don't wait, uh -oh. It's, har it's harassment with an oracle. I say that, but the queen comes in and is actually taking out the uh, oracle. Uh -oh. Oracle's putting out this one. This one almost goes out oh. and it takes out the oracle. Well, nice. The, the there were probably out. three people talking about at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> roaches coming in. Six more roaches. And is that tunneling claws or just speed? Speed. Yeah, that's, no, that's speed. Just, uh, roach speed. Roach speed is on the way. 
Yeah, Roach Speed's on the way, and Sir stuck to second base. He really needs a third expansion, but I don't think Marcus is going to give him that. No. Otherwise, what I don't like about uh -oh. Marcus, uh, what I don't like about Marcus' position is that he only have thirty-seven drums. He needs oh, yeah, a lot yeah. more drums for like a three-base Roach. Uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is weird. The, the player on two bases has fifty workers, but the player on three bases has thirty-seven. So uh, real quick, it, he does have the composition to counter this Roach push, but the Immortal is stuck. Oh, <laughs> well. Oh. Ah, well, snap. <laughs> well, don't, don't, don't worry. The War Prism is coming out. It's going to uh, okay, pull the Immortal out of the, the pocket. Right now, the Roach Driver just pushing through the nat natural. <laughs> See, that, that wall just screwed him up. The, the Biles go down. They actually take out their own Zergling to the pile on the battle go down immediately. Right. He stay there a little longer, but he doesn't. And the Roaches are going back and forth. You know you can bile the force field, Marcus. Just just bile the force field. <laughs> and the As we say that, uh, Zer have some pretty good micro so far between the last game with the feedback oh, yeah, and this game. Sure. With... Yeah, he had great micro. He has the war prisms out. The war prisms finally out. You can see some nice dancing micro. He takes out the immortal. Oh, yeah. God. That was a little The immortal like... free from the prison of his own design. <laughs> <laughs> the roaches come in, they take out the pylon. Oh, they didn't take out the pylon. Oh, but the pylon does go down eventually because of the bile. The, the roach are just no. Why is he like... through? Just go through. And then he blocks with the force field. The amazing block. block right now. <laughs> there we go. He needed to drop those immortal. Indeed he did. The roach ravager for some random reason just having this vendetta against that cybernetic score. God damn it, I hate that cybernetic score. Says Marcus. <laughs> He doesn't even take it out, he finally takes it no, out. He can't bend it. Yes, and there are four immortal on that ramp. There are four immortal. There's no way this push will actually win. It, it could, it could. You never know. There's Roach Ravager. You know, Roaches do a lot of damage. The immortals being baited back and forth. The War Prism. Oh, nice that. Yeah, the War Prism micro is brilliant. <laughs> he dropped an immortal into a pile. And that was amazing. Look at this okay. tiny one. Because of our father's going, the mortal's trying to pick up more, like, what was it, Zerg bio, but that's not working much out for him. He walks out of the bio, more Zerglings come in, and it's gonna get the full wrap around against those mortals. The immortals are being. Nice, immortal pick up. Well, he yeah, didn't he pick, pick up the second one. Pick up the second one! Come on! He doesn't pick up the second oh. one! And he loses another. This base is as good as gone. The Zerglings going in and start doing work on the pro. Rogue Trafficers actually doing more damage than it's ever done in a PvZ that I've ever seen. God, that's a lot of damage. Well, actually, There's yeah. another motor coming out. Uh, 16 Pro, but uh, still, the, the Pro... He has enough money uh, the work account, ooh. I would say the work account is still in uh, uh, in Zer's uh, favor. Yeah, of course. Right now, Zer going for the Void Ray. God, that's a, kind of, that's a good play. Oh, he blocks with the Rapid Fire Warp in, and then now he has the Immortal. Gunning away against that Road Ravage. Zerg switch. Zergling switch. Perfect idea uh, for Gentle Marcus. Yeah. I would like the 31 probe to actually do something about the. He should have pulled the boys. Yeah, pull the boys. Like the pull the boys. Yeah. Come on, I want to see a communist manifest. I just want like all those like oh, workers yeah. to go out as if they're trying to like display their communist manifesto. Come on, pull the boys. But I doubt Zer's ever gonna do that. Dude, it looks so cool. They look shell shaded, but they're not doing that anymore. Really, they do the full wrap around. The probe really up things. The Roach Ravager is just killing everything else. This might actually get shut down by the stiff Void Ray. <laughs> File the Void Ray! What's being. What's healing the Roaches? The, the, the health bar's going back up. The Void Ray. Oh my god, he's actually gonna put this back. And he's gonna push this back. Push back, luckily enough. I don't know about that because a lot of Ling is coming out and right now Zers have no unit beside a single Void Ray. That is true. Captain Awu is a bit more right in your life. And I don't... <laughs> and I don't think these poor probes are going to survive any longer. <laughs> Zerglings finally reach the mineral line and they go through every the war single prism. probe. The War Prism is uh, powering <laughs> one single Void <laughs> Ray. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Zer, trying to play like Madlet Liquid Mana. Powering up all kids, he scored in more zealots, scored in more shit, and then GG! Uh, in the end, uh, the market. Finally. Yeah, well played, well played. Alright. It's a pretty good game from both sides. Uh, I would like Zero to spend more of his money.
Oh, uh, he, he was microing the shit out of DC Mortals. Yeah, yeah, see, he was. It, see, th this is going to be a very uh, uh, unpopular opinion, but I think if he just leave the uh, he just leave the Immortals alone, let him do their thing. <laughs> I thought you were going to say this could be a very game, unpopular opinion. Good game. Yeah. Good game. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off, but I thought you were going to say, but this is going to be a very unpopular opinion, but if he just left the game, he would win in life! <laughs> and I'm like, no, Captain Owen, that's not how the game works. <laughs> no, uh, that, that, that is exactly not what I want to say. Anyway, what I want to say is that say, say he say. need to chill on his... Uh, his micro is good, I'm not going to lie, the spellcasting is good, but he need to chill on it and just make units. Just yeah, warp yeah, in for those units. Yeah, more, more supply beats less supply. That's like... I feel like you could put that in a motivational quote and then like set it to a kid and then they'll understand what it means. No, they, no, I mean, they won't in, understand in what it means. Time, look, in the time where uh, he was microwing all the uh, all the immortal, in the entire push, he could have made extra three void rays, and that would have changed a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. Right now, I accidentally put in Zer as the winner when it was Marcus. Uh, what? Right. what just happened? Uh, I need to... Okay, port scores, match details. Oh my god, I messed that up. In progress, match yeah, details. Right. Uh, winner was Marcus, the there you go. Match. Next matchup is actually the the two the two good casters of this age. It's going to be Lord Cranial versus Captain Awu. Alright, uh, Lord Cranial. Sounded like a Scotsman. <laughs> All right, mate. Alright. Alright. Uh, Lord Cranial, can I have your uh, what was it? Your MMR? You're both diamond. Oh, okay. Then I can play turn. <laughs> yeah. Oddly enough, and he's a turn. So do you TVT? Yeah, it'll be a TVT. What a humble game, you know? Okay. A humble game of TVT. So, get ready for a 30 minute map long Vitos game. Or... Yeah, any any maps, preferred preferred maps, or any. Um... Um... Oh, wait, Abyssal Reef. I know Lord Cranial wanted Abyssal Reef. What is Abyssal Reef? It's the I've never played map. Abyssal. What? It's I've never old played map, Abyssal. like a year and a half. I, 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 my voice was going to get lower than that, but then I, I didn't want to, like, shake the soul in your body. But how have you never played on Abyssal Reef? Because I joined when Catalyst... I joined the later stage when Catalyst was about to be removed. That, that's, my, that's the first uh, time I played, because uh, I think... Was that, less, was that less than two months ago? No, 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 really. No, no. It's Catalyst removed a long time ago. It, it, it's... Catalyst was removed before the Cyclone have the have the insane lock on ability. What? That's... Did you veto the map or something? Last. He All right, joined. I have no, he... I have no map preference. I have no map preference, but I would uh, I would veto Thunderbird. Okay, so no Thunderbird. Um, I'm guessing pool from you and abyssal reef from Lord Cranial. Heads or tails? Uh, tails. Okay, it was tails, but I want to see a, a game on abyssal reef, so playing on abyssal reef. <laughs> <laughs> uh, abyssal, there you go. And WCS game heart, of course. Oh, this time you didn't. No, I, I am sorry. Mm. I will make it. I know, right? Uh, one on one. No custom. Maybe. Where is my ambition? Oh, Cray with more. I'll take the initiative and mute myself. I'll probably remove my call. Oh no, you can you can leave the call if you want. Uh, but predominantly, you just don't want to be in the same call as the casters. Okay. Haha and me are going to be the casters. Yay. Okay, this is actually going to be fun, haha, because yeah. I know that. Uh, you're, you're, you're kind of you're kind of that laid back caster, right? You, you sit back and you analyze the game, and that's that couldn't be more your matchup than a TVT, the chess matchup, you know. Yeah. Anyway, everyone ready? Yeah. Everyone sorry. Okay, cool. 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 Captain Undead, Captain Awu, the the legend, the the figure, the man. By the way, God. he he joined. He said before Catalyst was removed. Which is just one season just after the episode. I I joined the same time, like 
first season oh. in, in 18. Like, I played Abyss of Reef, but mostly or always just in customs, not on, on the ladder. Oh, okay. And, and it was four seasons in the ladder. Which yeah, is kind of similar. There used to be some other maps. Well, since Abyss of Reef, the maps have been only like three seasons. Right. Yeah. Anyway, um, aha, if you could introduce the players for me, both of them. Yeah. So, in the lower right corner, we have Crane. Okay, I don't know how to. Do Lord Cranial. You remember? Lord Cranial. I... Right. And in the top left corner, we have Captain Abu. Captain Abu! Abu! Both playing <laughs> Terror. Yeah, I, I absolutely love TVTs. I don't know why I like TVTs the most. Mirror matchups are just like the matchup where who's the better player just outright because you're playing with the same pieces. So like, it's like a TVT is the best analogy for a chess game. Like I have never played a TVT and not felt like I've been playing chess. Um, it's like your siege tanks are the rooks. Your, uh, <laughs> hold on. Your bio is like your bishop and your horses, or your knights, sorry. And then, um, would you say the liberator is the queen? Or or would you say, I don't know, No, battle cruisers are is the queen. Oh yeah, hell yeah, the, the battle cruisers are the queen. Or the Liber transition. Liberators are the horses. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, you're so right. The liberators are the horses. Because they fly over everyone. <laughs> and they don't give a shit. <laughs> Oh god. I need to play some more chess. Have you ever played chess? Oh, uh, yeah. My friend got uh started playing chess and he got like a 1600 MMR, which is a lot because you only get 5 MMR when you go up the ladder. Right. And um he 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 won one tournament and played like as many as he could. Um but yeah, that was that was a story to tell, man. I absolutely love the fact that you play tournaments. I actually had tournaments, chess tournaments, in uh, my school, in my old school. And the headmaster would join as well. And I would never actually win a game because the headmaster would regularly win. And if it wasn't him, it was someone else. But um, I really enjoyed it. It was a bit like this, except without the caster and without the enthusiasm. The Reaper finally came out, though. God, All right, that took some time. Anyway, moving on to the game. Sorry. I have this fascination of chess. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be that. Queued up a Hellion, okay. Odd from Lord Cranial. Um, Captain Awu, he's playing a little defensive with that Reaper. I would never use a Reaper for defense. Um, well, uh -huh. you, you gotta use what you have. Yeah, true. Also, this is the first time we have some real StarCraft going on in our tournament. Like, finally, we Actually, have Diamond yeah. versus Diamond Frail. It's not <laughs> shit. Yeah. It's not shit anymore. <laughs> True. We both I mean, gotta get to the diamond level, so we yeah, definitely. Um, right now though, I uh, I always thought that Captain Wu would go for something that's not mech because we both talked about how we loved Bio, but he suddenly goes mech for some reason. Right now, this aggression with the Hellion goes in. The Hellion actually manages to go through the supply depot and is actually gunning away against those uh, SCVs mining gas. Go gas for you, says Lord Cranial, because he's smart enough to realize that he's going mech. Well, maybe he's going mech, I don't know. Double, uh, These Reapers are going. so low. And the Reaper one Reaper goes down, and the other one was almost dead. The Hellion's almost dead. And the entire aggression shut down. God. Haha. -ha. Sorry, I get hyped in every engagement, but what just happened? And he's continuing with more Hellion. Dead. Rip. Rip. Rest in peace. I don't know why, every single time I say rip, it does not sound like I'm, I'm telling someone much rest in peace. <laughs> it sounds like I'm telling you to just rip. <laughs> like, just, just die, rip, you know, just, rip. just get fractured. <laughs> rip for your rips. <laughs> get ripped. Yeah. I can't tell that as a compliment, because, like, it also suggests that you're getting, like, really strong. I don't know. Six Hellions is a lot. God, look at the supply lead by Lord Cranial. In yeah. fact, if Captain Awu had a slightly better game sense, he would realize that he's actually ahead in supply. And that, that was aggression, and it got shut down. Right now, the Hellions are scouting out. Captain Undead is around. making or researching upgrades for Marauders. Despite yeah, yeah, having no Marauders. 
A concussive shell going out for Captain Undead. Oof. Dude, doesn't con ca like concussive shell feel so nice? I don't know why. It's like you chase someone down and then they just can't run away from you. It's like you break their legs and then you relish it. Sorry. <laughs> it's a bit too, too descriptive. Right now, the aggression from the Hellions come in and they all get shut down by a single siege tank because they did not attack a movement. The siege tank's almost dead, but it doesn't die. It unseizes and that, that aggression completely gets that shut down. That wasn't the greatest aggression. That, that wasn't the greatest aggression. Right now. But the Hellion for Lord Crane is gone. Yeah. I would really like that siege tank to be repaired, but um, I can't talk to the players. <laughs> Don't you ever have that feeling where you talk to the person who's playing? Cyril. Oh my god, Cyril, how are you doing with Cyril? Cyril! And like, you're just like freaking out. Hey. God. And another siege tank's being siege for defense. Two bases are going up. And double gas geysers for yeah. uh, Captain Awu. And He's two more barracks. Yeah, um, would you ever play a, a gas comp if you're playing a TVT? I don't know, I don't really... I, I don't even know how to play Terran. Really? Yeah, I <laughs> haven't got... I don't even remember the opening, so... Well, I mean... Maybe I should get to it. Yeah, you should play Terran. Terran is like that race where if you get good at it, you'd be like, Oh my god! Yeah. I am a StarCraft! Legend. And then you complain a lot. <laughs> because you like, can't I, I have a friend who is like 5.6k MMR. And, Holy shit, that's big. And he's complaining all the time like, Fucking this game, Blizzard, this balance, <laughs> it's shit. Oh my god, like, Brodos, shit. Zerg, shit. Everything is shit. Like, I can't do my shit. It's yeah, like, you know, I don't, like, I don't get yeah, this. Yeah, but... I always, because, I, I feel it's because he's playing always bio and, like, I don't know, when I'm watching no, it, yeah. I'm like, okay, what what about adding a raven? And he's like, no, you can't add raven, because if if you count all the gas, you can mine within the 5 minutes, or within the 3.30, from start of the game, you can't just squeeze <laughs> in the extra raven, I'm like, okay, then, then die. <laughs> or playing more or or liberators like no you can't squeeze in the liberator to to distract the opponent dude he sounds like the most like intolerant sjw a starcraft social justice warrior yeah, like, a starcraft it, justice it, warrior it, sorry he, he's like the complaining <laughs> terror <laughs> Right now, Lord Cranial go is going for the third. He's got mules down and a couple of SUVs mining for the third. That's yeah. great. Can but they, and move as out? we say that, that yeah. innocent third is going to be completely wrecked and crushed by but this. But Cranial scouted the aggression, so... Oh, good point, good point. Yes. Right now, the medevac, pretending to be a raven, thinks he can get some aggression done with the ravens. The ravens go back. The siege tanks procedure. The first siege tank. And it's the first very marine, marine, marine and so Oh my god, the interference matrix completely blocked those ravens. And right now, Lord Cranium is down in This is not great. That was a good shot. Right now, a simple drop in the main is enough to defeat this uh, siege tank. And he disables one of the tanks. And then he disables more of them. And he disables the siege tanks instead. It was a better idea, but the auto turrets go down and they're taking out the marines. The marines actually go through one siege tank still siege. And it's trying to take out any of those SUVs, but the SUVs randomly are idle, and the siege tanks are going to get the hell below the terrains. The siege tanks are actually shutting away against the others. The scan goes out, and it's just not enough. The Ravens throw out more auto turrets, but that wasn't enough either. More of the auto turrets from Lord Cranial ends up stopping the aggression from Captain Owu. Well played by both players. That was an even split. Like, look yeah. at the supply cap. Oh. Captain Ever so far has lost 500 more minerals and 500 more gas, and he out of the three ravens he lost two of them. However, that is true. Yeah, Cranial, but it's not unwinnable. Cranial haven't lost either, either of the ravens. They are badly bruised, but not lost. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, right now I would say a simple repair by SUVs or maybe even mules.
people don't use mules enough in terms of repairing, for repairing at least. These right now, the Ukrainian was going for the counter attack. Be good oh. with some repairs. Yeah, that would be great. This, this is no push from the uh, Ukrainian. No, they are in range. They're in range for sure. Range. The Vikings are giving them range. He doesn't need the scans. And he starts shelling away against this. The Marines try no, doing something by mistake. Uh, and they get aggroed into death. The auditory goes out and tries to shell away against the... <laughs> I guess to come out to the poor Captain Owu, completely on the back foot after the failed aggression. Right now, the siege tanks, oh, he sees how they're scattered, and, and, and one scan was enough to push back the, the Vikings go out as if they're gonna like, give the siege tanks vision, which they do. The interference range goes out. There is no siege tank for Captain Owu for a couple of seconds, and Lord Cranial doesn't take advantage of this moment. Okay, well, that happened. Um, those poor marines try to move, but they get completely squashed by those siege tanks. And right now, Captain Wu is going from the back to the back. The siege tanks are actually pushing back their aggression. The Vikings do try to do something. The, Vi the Raven was trying to do something. The Lord Cranial right now. The Lord Cranial? The Lord, my Lord, goes in, disables the siege tank. And a simple, like, if he, if he just brings those Vikings, disables that siege tank, and brings the Vikings near the SUVs, it will kill the SC outright. And he would have had the advantage. Right now, the siege tank, the scans go out. The siege tanks go shelling. The Vikings finally land. They take out one of the. They're about to take out one of the siege tanks. They land back out. The Marines completely push back the Vikings, and this is still a stalemate. Now, this is the chess mate. This, this is the chess game we're talking about. Right now, there's a lot of supply going through the middle of the map for Lord Cranial. And. C C Captain Owu sees it. The siege tanks are walking by those Marines, and they siege up in the. Heads. Gonna like the fact that they're gonna shell the way from the left hand side. This push is far more stronger than Captain Owu. The Marines are completely cornered from both sides. Uh, both sides. The Ravens completely shoot their interference matrix with only one siege tank up from the left hand side of the flank. God, this is the oh my god! <laughs> These interference matrix are destroying the siege tank. The Vikings go out and the plus damage to armor wreck some of those Vikings. Oh whoa! Dude, look at the DPS of the Vikings, they're completely destroying the siege tanks! I just saying, Vikings have uh, bonus to mechanical when they are ready. They did. Captain Umu successfully takes out that aggression. And Lord Cranial is still trying to shell away against that ship. He lands his Vikings and the Vikings go to town trying to kill the siege tanks, but the siege tanks almost go down! God damn it! Marines stim in, they say, they say, screw it, we want to get more some more and more tanks, but that's not enough. In fact, I think just, if you just unseed your tanks, Lord Crane, and simply attack move, it may work out for you. Right now, this is clearly not enough. The Marines aren't, and they're, they're in the natural right now, and that expo is not being good, defended. The scan goes out, and of course, sees the clump of siege tanks. God, there's so many. Another wave of siege tanks going from the left hand side of the map around and marines coming into room. No, they're not marines, they're SCVs. That's a bad idea. But an idea Captain Abu has chosen to take. A fourth being finally added to his economy and workers being ready to mine. The base finally gets lifted after realizing this is no point of keeping this expansion. But realizing those Vikings tries to probably move. I hope so. Yeah, he does. He's a move, come on. Um, Right now, there's a bit little mini attack, but Marines and Siege tanks are completely shut down by Captain Undead. The problem with casting mirror matchups is that you mention the units, and then you realize it's a mirror matchup. They're using the same units. Here's it now. Right now, all those Siege tanks on Siege. Hey, thanks for. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. Two additional. Wait, four more. Two, two. No, two, one. I know. Two and plus one, plus two, plus two infantry weapons. The siege tank, oh, the siege tanks are moving up with four in the low ground, no, six in the low ground, and additional two. He just needs to scan in the main and just yeah. wreck everything. Please just scan the main, scan oh. the main. The Vikings come in from the Captain Wu, and they're actually, they're actually having the stair battle in the middle of this fight, and the siege tanks just destroy everything they see. God, that siege tank just needs to scan, and it's taking out more of those. Oh my gosh, this game. Well played. And GG from Captain Owu! Well played. Ah, oh, God. Yeah. Well, let's, let's interview the players.
Lord Cranial. How are we with the... Oh my god. Well, special loss to Raynor 1, 2, 3. And now it's Nim versus Serral. And oh, so, boy. yeah, great. Another ZVZ finals. That's what we wanted. We haven't had ZVZ finals. Look at South Demo that. So long. Because <laughs> we need more ZVZ, guys. The last 10 finals were ZVZ. We need more. Thing is, and but but uh, Prolos is OP. Don't just... don't guys remember remember guys. Prolos is OP despite <laughs> never never getting into final. <laughs> don't forget, haha, uh, haha. Don't forget, Serral got once two born playing Zerg in the tournament, so he switched up. Yeah, I know, I know. In, in, the, in the finish league, he he plays turn. Yeah, yeah, he does. Maybe I'll he sh he should do random just for sake yeah. of being random. Captain Wu, wait, I just realized, Captain Wu, are you here? Uh, no, he's not. He's not. Uh, Captain, there you go. Um, <coughs> let's go for the quick interview. Obviously, the next matchup is going to be is going to be Marcus yes. versus Lord Cranial. Uh, this is yeah. an interesting matchup, mainly because Lord Cranial has to off race. <laughs> But that was oh, a really boy. good game. Thank you. Yeah, both of you played really. I will say, Lord Cranial, you played far more aggressively for a game that plays out like a chess game. Chess game, you know, a TVT. Um, yeah. Usually, I'm a bit more aggressive, or at least in the beginning with a TVT game, just to try and kind of squeak out an edge. Yeah. Hold on, Lord Cranial, are you the guy who said you played Livy B and no, played against Livy B and? She said you were aggressive. No, that definitely wasn't me. Okay, I'm guessing that was Bro Frock or Twitty Coons, whatever his name is. I'm just gonna have his name. Um, I got a message from Captain Wu. Um, I was planning on casting the finals, but now I gotta go. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, okay. I just woke up like a half an hour ago. Uh, feels bad, man. Alexis. Oh, well. Alright. This is the finals. Marcus, are you ready? Yeah. Lord. Let's, let's do this. My lord. The next yeah. prince of America. Is there a king <laughs> in America? No, it's a president. Ah, shit. I'm sorry, man. How dare you. <laughs> How dare you? We <laughs> love our people like as if they were our disciples. Anyway. That was pretty good. Yeah, that, I know, right? I was like, I want to continue saying things, but I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, obviously, do you guys want to have a, a map in particular you want to play? Hmm. Something um... from Mother? Yeah, yeah, we totally understand what you just said. Yeah, I know that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Abyssal Reef, I'm assuming Lord Cranium, do you want to play Abyssal Reef again? Uh, No, I think we should probably, probably play one of the latter maps. That was a lot of fun, though. That was a lot of fun. Um. Pool map, uh, what about you, Lock Marcus? Marcus? Marcus. Uh, what about Disco? Uh, D Disco Bloodbath? Oh, no. Dis uh, Disco Bloodbath, yeah. Yeah. Um, sure. Yeah, that works for me. Okay, cool. If both players vote for the same thing, then we're gonna go for the same thing. Haha, set that up. Uh, obviously, I. Does Marcus, do you want to. Uh, do you want to nerf, uh, Lord Cranial? He is diamond one. I'm diamond three. Oh, he's diamond. diamond going? We're gonna pretend he's diamond one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm it's going. up to him. Lord Cranial, do you think it's appropriate to nerf yourself? Let me look at his MMR real quick. All right. Three, so three point two k. Yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll play all off race because I'm. No, no, no. You can you can seven. play your main race. You sure? Yeah. Alright. Mm-hmm. 
Magnat. How does it feel to, to like rejoin? Right. Uh, do you want to be to veto or nothing? just? No, it's just I think Marcus now. versus Lord Kenyo is is not it's not an outmatch like it's yeah. somewhat balanced. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody uh, needs on. nobody needs to have a handicap or or to play with, with a challenge or anything. Yeah, I think it's 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 relatively fine, but uh, Lord Cranial is particularly good, like literally. Anyway, um, which is why we, we kind of want to nerf it because we've I seen him wait, play. I was waiting to play him, but then I died to this stupid comment. Oh um, yeah, I, yeah, man. I, I I'm so died. sorry. Thing is, hopefully, maybe next week, right? We'll have you play another tournament, and you don't get all in again. If that makes you feel I better. I mean, technically, I was gonna all in too. So. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, the brutal okay. honesty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> My heart uh, was just a little slower. Yeah, it was just a little slow. I mean, sure, okay, whatever. Anyway, okay. um, uh, good luck in the finals. Whoever wins gets nothing from me. <laughs> of course. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, oh yeah, 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 um. Abu just uh, quickly summarized an interview, and he said tank tank count was too high, couldn't get libs, and no air control. Couldn't have been more right. Anyway, yeah. yeah. Haha. Set up the next game, if you will. Yeah, I'm and we're gonna asking Abu maps. Uh, yeah. There are, there it was Disco Bloodbath. About Disco Bloodbath. So yeah. Disco Bloodbath. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyone want to cast in particular? Anyone on the stream? I know there's probably like only three people, so. It's very likely it's gonna be. Uh, now it's only two. And... Oh, is that that's just you and me then? And now, yeah, two. <laughs> I need I need three average, fucking. I need to to get affiliate and be able to lower the, the quality and. I think people I can, can watch our stream. Yeah. Just some ba another basic. I, I mean, I can. I can't load Marcus. You're one of the casters. <laughs> <laughs> Just that you're also one of the players. Oh, man, man. That's the detail. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wait, we thought WCS game. Yeah, yeah. I know. Oh, um, I was forgetting. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you what, if you want, if you guys want this to be an official thing, even though it's an unofficial thing, we should advertise this because. You know how um, Glazer Beam, like when he gets like 20 subscribers, not 20 subscribers, 20 viewers, and then complain, and then get um, bees uh, becomes honest about the fact that he's not gonna make it as a streamer. Well, it's it's very obvious and abundantly obvious that he just doesn't advertise his stuff. And box it, accept the match. Oh, okay, cool. I That's don't. <laughs> yeah. I don't really Sorry. really feel like I can provide the quality. Uh, that's fine. Uh, I'm just re referring to advertising, you know? You advertise your shit, you get your shit known. You're gonna, like, actually um, get more viewers. That's the natural way of getting viewers. Okay, yeah. so I'm going. Yep. I'm coming yep. Later. Yeah. See you then. Good luck. Good luck, man. Alright. Yeah. Oh, nice, we have a third viewer. Who is our third viewer? Probably if it's Abu or someone. If it's Marcus, I'd be like, God damn it, Marcus! I mean, I'm okay with this. Yeah, I am okay with this. Oh. Anyway, I I can so I can lower it in my dashboard. Huh? In... I don't know. I think I, I think it's fine as it is now. Yeah. No, the the quality. Or right. anyway, I feel my microphone is like. Bad, like really bad. And no, your your microphone is actually good. Like it's, it's yeah, legit. I I I don't know. I feel my voice is kind of meh. Oh wait, am I not? Um, am I not Fox McBrush on thingy? What? On, on Battle.net. Oh, I'm that dumb named the Fox. I tried copying the Muslim. Anyway, uh, right. spawning. In the so top. in somewhat lower right corner is Cranial as a Terran, and in the left top corner, I guess, is 
Marcus. Yeah, the Zerg player. Now, I actually like Marcus's game plan. Although it's pretty shit, it's actually kind of entertaining. I don't know why. Is it me or is it the, is it the shit strategies? The entertaining ones. Like, well, you don't give. Like you don't making Zerglings about... and seeing if it works and then being behind? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's right. exactly it. <laughs> As I said, it, he's only getting with it because he ha he's. We, we played a lot just with each other. And he yeah. has always been too pussy to play on the liner. So he has stick to these shitty strats. Or switch to mutas. Like, okay, I can't zerg right. <laughs> oh, let's let's do mutas. That's, that's what you do. <laughs> no, but, but... Okay, so he's in plat 1 right now. I am fairly sure once he hit diamond 3, he will have to figure out how to actually play. Yeah, a normal for sure. Person. Because... Like, for me... Go on. No, 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 it's alright. Um, for me, when I play ladder, I just... I, I get lost in the ladder, I just start playing and I just don't stop. And then I, I, I reach a benchmark, like, I, I get to gold 2. Oh! I was gold 3 two days ago. I suppose I'm gold 2 now. And then I continue playing and I reach, like, I don't know, gold 1. Oh! I'm gold 1. So, like... I don't get people who are afraid of the ladder. Like simply playing and losing and winning is just what, what's what gonna get you. It's gonna what, it's what's gonna get you promoted. It's what's gonna get you good at the game. Just simply playing it. So play it. Anyway, right now yeah. both players and, relatively playing well. Um, and it's not even like you you can get in lower league. You can drop from the league only like between seasons. Yeah, that's actually true as so. well. Right now, they're protecting that SUV. Oh my god, there's another Ling Rush. I think this is now expected. I think Lord Cranial is like clicking it in his head. Yeah, I've seen this before. I've casted this too. I know what's going on. I know what's going on. Hey. Hey. Anyway, um, the expansion completely exposed. And the Ling's coming in for the attack. The expansion actually done before the Ling's attack. He can go for a quick lift, but he doesn't pick up the SUV. What a pro player! I need a, I need a symbol saying pro play. At least at least he lifts the shit up. Um, the marine trying his hardest to like defend the ling aggression. The SUVs come out, try to repair those supply depots, and the hellion finally pushes back those lings. God, Marcus is aggressive. Metabolic boost coming up for Marcus right now, and that marine. <laughs> Yeah, no. I like how that marine is just the not in that. Yeah. yeah, that marine. <laughs> I like how you can just see Lord Cranial trying to bring the marine back, but the supply depot would have to go down. Marine gets sadly punctured by those things. And right it's, now... it's not ideal for Terran, but it's not bad. Because yeah. he, he's now making Liberator. If he... Yeah, the Liberator is... Yeah, he the will. Go in. Yeah. He, he might. Cut... Mm, well, he has overload there, but. Well, I'm gonna be on his. Uh... Oh, the supply block completely shuts down the Zergling. Zergling's trying to escape. Now the Zergling shut down by the Hellions. And the Hellions completely rip through them. God damn it, that was well played. I don't know what. Like, what that was in the mineral line. That was but... a direct counter, and now. It, instead of making. He made 10 Zerglings instead of making pro Vargas. Okay. He's making 6 more Lings. But, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll grant him the fact that he is expanding. He is playing the classic macro game. The macro Chad, you know. 80 workers only. Yeah, but he, he could have had 40 wife workers. Yeah, good point. Um, right now, though, the Hellions finally come in. They, they actually they move commanding into the Lings, which is a bad idea. They finally get a shot off. The volley goes and rips through the lings, and the lings retreat back. But the hellions completely out of some, like out of health. Look at that. Bad HP for almost all of them, except for the third. Oh no! Right? The hellions go for the attack. Oh, no, the lings go for the attack. The lings actually take out all all two hellions, except for the remaining two, and they almost destroy them. Oh god, oh that was almost a double KO. <laughs> well played, though. Um, the overlord, obviously, just chilling out. In the third, in the untaken third, the liberator comes up, sieges up, but then the queen takes it out. The you know, queen I, all, it all of, yeah, 
Oh, all mining. mining. All mining. Still all denying mining. mining. Mm -hmm. Right now, there's uh, there's widow mines out for um, Lord Cranial. He's got some actually nice skins. What are, what is that skin? The widow. Uh, I think I selected special forces or something like that. Special forces. That looks really cool. And he's got the Junker Alien. I'm a bit sad that I came in the Starcraft and missed out on the first two uh, oh, chests. So I don't know. Yeah, to... And you can't buy the skin or. Well, actually, I, I think, think you can uh... buy skins, but you can't. You can't get the emo emotes. Okay, right now the aliens try to go for a run by against the base that won't do anything. They completely get cornered by the legs and they completely get shut down. Well played by Marcus. Spotted it and, and addressed it. Well read. And now Cranial going for the third expansion. And uh, if, the if Lord Cranial had was ammo for morphing the yeah the aliens in the halberd. Yeah, right now, Lord uh, Mark is going for the attack on the third expansion because he, he did see it and he's attacking the expansion. Lord Cranial cancels the expo so he doesn't, he only loses 100 minerals. And he gets shot by those widow mines. God. That was. <laughs> Ouch! Says Marcus. Temporarily stops just to simply say that and then the widow mines move across and Lord Cranial is trying to go for the third expansion again but gets harassed by the four remaining links. God. Well played, well played. Right now, Marcus, uh, not Marcus, Lord Cranial, uh, creating one supply depot, a couple of marines, stim, and combat shield. But the stim's finally finished, the combat shield's almost done. Marcus he's bringing is his supplied at 82 and haven't started overload for a while. He's still oh my god, we don't mind. 15 seconds now. Oh my god. We don't mind, feel so bad, man. Especially as a Zerg player. Could you so imagine we don't mind? When is he gonna do something? No, let, let's not. Ma oh, finally! Yeah. Four! I wouldn't mind if he made ten of them because he has. He, he had had money. Oh, he's got the siege tanks out. He's got three marines coming on the way and two liberators. Yeah, finally. No supply box. There you go. Find some roaches. Almost twenty of them. Is there enough to load the Maybe. He has, yeah, he, he split the army and let the third eat in the same place. Oh, like, at least he, he's on the. Haha. -ha. Yeah. Are you, are you with me? Yeah. Yeah, I, um. I, uh, I've been called to do something, unfortunately. I gotta go. Um, but tell uh, tell me who won, and I'll I'll update. Yeah, I'll update. Uh, Lord Marcus winning because <laughs> yeah, because he is ready. Lord Cranial let play the army and Zerg eat one one third and then another third. And... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, I, I, I do gotta go and uh, hopefully it's just a message. Yeah, yeah it, it's Lord Marcus. Is it? Oh, it looks fine. It's quite easy, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's an indecisive game. Message. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Eight. My Marcus isn't doing anything, and he he didn't bother to make thrones, so he is almost it's in even workers and has been worse for the Zerg. So even you know he has two thousand, one thousand, like spending minerals, spending money, doing micro, finishing the opponent. No. I mean, he needs more production. 
but he needs to spend it and make a lot of units and just yeah he's making SCVs he has taken third if he can oh there is a drop I those cover drop in the main we track this if anything Marcus is saying it full base. And Marcus doesn't produce anything. Despite having 2000, 1000. Like, that's how you you not win the game. Lord Crano is charged to spend as much money as he can. He's now making one tech lab, one reactor. Does he have cheap upgrades? Yeah, he has steam, he has combat shields, cost of conversation. He needs to start normal. Yeah, to engineering base. Engineer and another starport. Despite not producing other stuff. Another seven. Yeah. That's good deny that uh, to Medivex. Another harass from this liberator. Lord Cranion is getting quite some of me. More mules for more money. Yeah, that's what you need. Maybe another command center would be good too. Oh, Lord Cranion. I'm not sure. There is. Oh, there's a bit of army here. However, I'm not. I don't, I'm not sure how to feel about these two medivacs. Like. How is it? It's like 18, 20 marines. I mean, maybe and not great engagement. Ah, more marines. One more tank. Ah, now, now it. Oh, I, I like it. A couple more others. Another drop in the main. That's that's how you do it. As a terror. Track and track from both sides. Oh no, a couple, a couple things have done a bit. Oh. He might. Oh, he pick up the tank. Good. Now finishing main speed for Lord Marcus. One one for for yeah for Marines. Can he defend the base? Though? Another base, kind of hidden, I guess. Marcus doesn't know. Marcus is scouting to lay. I mean, the battle of history doesn't do much, but it distracts. 1 1 finished. Now, Spire is going up. This is a high almost finish up, which is great scout. Great battle cruiser. There you go. Two liberators trying to hide. Single these two overlords, which won't do that much. Oh, there is great push. Some bio, one tank, two liberators, one thing behind. More bio on the way. 18 leaks, 8 pains, and finishing up land for Marcus. Oh. Great liberator. Oh no, the main. Oh. Fortunately, there is one round of micro. One fire on the way. And the fire will be enough. And Lord Marcus doesn't have much. How long can this game? I can't alone. 
How did they meet? Where, where did the rat? Where did Fox go? Uh, he's he sat here. Oh. Lord Crane is killing off the four base after he killed the first one. He's putting off the drones. Is this Same best there. of one? What? This should be at least best of three, not just best of one. Yeah, this is fine. Yeah. The market trade, um... Last hope, Mira's shut down. Lord Crane has some bio in his natural kill of the drones. <laughs> there you go, Lord Crane is getting the victory. Wait, did that, the game end it? Yeah. GG. Congrats, Cam. Now 1v1 me. Yeah. That's how you do it. Finally some good fucking Starcraft game. <laughs> <laughs> Congrats, Rainer. What happened to Fox? He G said he had to GG, go. Marcus. GG. Well, at least I yeah. tried. <laughs> blame, blame it on Pota's OP. Well... Blame if you didn't Pota's make OP, like okay. 20 Zerglings and instead make uh, more drones, because... At, at the 10 minute mark, you had even army, even drones. Well, Marcus even had like 31 drones versus 35 SCVs. You were destined to die. Yeah. Mm. Because all in ink with fucking links doesn't pay Don't off. Don't get salty about that. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't last as long as I. And that's a fact. Right there. I don't know if Fox will update the tournament. Yeah. Uh, are you an admin on Shalons? Like, can you change the score? No, I can't. He, he does it 